In this short video, we will look at how the new web client for Biovia Notebook works compared to the old Windows client. To create a new experiment in the Windows client, open up a dialog where you can select to start a blank experiment, or start from a template where you can select from existing templates. In the web client, the corresponding functions are slightly different. Here you start a new experiment, but in this case you get a list of your personal templates or public templates. This list will be preserved between your sessions and you also have the option to filter by categories rather than navigating through the folder structure. The next time you open Notebook, this will be the view you see. In addition, Notebook has the ability to preview which is also remembered between the sessions so that you can see what the template actually looks like. The navigation of your own experiments and of other people's experiments is done differently. In the Windows client, you have your own book, and you can navigate in a folder structure among different projects. In the web client, the left-hand side panel contains search filters and your own notebook, where you can see experiments where you're the author. In this view, you can filter and sort, so you can extract the experiments. For example, you have a PTP1B project. You can also go to experiments which have been shared with you. This was not possible to identify in the Windows client, but is now easy to do. You can also navigate to your personal templates. To find other colleagues' experiments in the Windows client, you would go to the Global Library and then navigate in Personal Notebooks, sorted by name, or in Project Lab Notebooks. In the Web client, your colleagues' notebooks are available under All Notebooks, and here you have both All Experiments and the public templates. Initially, you can list all the experiments in the system. Then, there are a number of filters that you can apply. If you want to see a particular project, you can find that, or you can specify you are only interested in some particular experiment types, like biochemistry. If you want to remove the filter, simply click Clear All Filters. You can filter for anything edited in the last month, or look for everything that contains a certain experiment code. You can sort the lists by each column, or you can save searches which then appear in the left-hand navigation. This saves you time when looking for updates to common projects or reviewing specific ongoing activities. So with these filters, you can mimic the structure you have in the Windows client, but it is more versatile and easy to use. In the Experiment Editor, there are some differences, although the overall structure is similar between Windows and Web Client. In the Windows client, you have various functions in the top bar, such as properties, where you can find, for instance, collaborators and contributors. In the web client, the bar here is confined to things like text manipulation. One new feature of the web client is the ability to collapse and shrink all of the sections of an experiment into a sort of table of contents. You can expand or collapse the sections individually or all at once through the top bar for quicker access. Many of the functions that previously had been in the top bar have been moved to the cogwheel, so here you can find information about submission history, you can see where the related experiments are, if any, you can save as by cloning the experiment, you can save as a template, or you can save as a Word document, which will also include all of the elements, all of the embedded files, and all of the file attachments into a zip file. You can select collaborators as before, as contributors, or as co-editors. You can view the preview, the experiment as PDF, and you can see the audit trail. The submission has been moved to a big button on the top bar, and it works similarly to the Windows client. In this preview, you can both see what the resulting experiment will look like and you can choose to submit a reduced set of sections. When you're happy, you click Next, and here we generate a preview of the PDF. When that is shown, you can choose to find countersigners, and you can select the reason for signing. You also can add comments. And then as before, you click Sign, and you sign with your password as before. 
if it's an experiment assigned to a project that needs witnessing, then the witness will pick this up on their first page upon login. From this view, you can also revoke the submission if you've forgotten something or done something wrong. And in this case, you need to post a comment as before. And from this view, I can always go back to the experiment. The search function is placed on the top bar and is always available, and it is context sensitive. So if you have filtered through me as an author, then the search bar will now apply only to this list. If you go to all experiments, for instance, you will search in every user's experiment. The advanced search gives you abilities to search more precisely, so you can search for a particular signer, for a particular author, or for a particular project. You can search for your own role, for example, as a co-editor, or you can search by submitted time. You can also search by chemical structure. If you have any specific lookups, they would need to be replaced underneath here. You can perform a complex search as well. For example, you can look for experiments created in the past year, but in a particular project and confined to the experiment type by chemistry. And then you can also save this as a custom search. If you have further questions about using the Notebook web client, please contact us through our community support pages or by contacting your Biovia representative.